Hey road trippers, welcome to the Americana and Oddities series, where we go to some odd places that are just plain strange or they are part of Americana culture. And in this video, we're going to go all the way to the Leaning Tower of Niles, Illinois. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. When my wife and I first moved to this neighborhood, we were looking for a Costco to go to, so we had to find something nearby. We didn't really know the neighborhood very well. So we went ahead, we found this Costco, and we were driving there, and all of a sudden, I take a look, and I see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but not quite as tall. And of course, it's not the Leaning Tower of Pisa, because I'm in Niles, Illinois. Come to find out, it is the Leaning Tower of Niles. Really? But why? So here's a little bit of history of the tower. A local businessman of, of the early 1900s, Robert Ilg, and I hope I'm saying that name right, he had created a park called the Ilgair Park, and that was happened around the 1920s. And it had two large outdoor pools. But these large pools needed a big tank to supply the water, and Ilg wanted to preserve the natural beauty of the area. So he decided to build a replica of the Leaning Tower of Pisa to conceal the water tower. So he did exactly that, and it was completed in 1934, and it is a half-scale replica of what is in Pisa, although they built it here to not lean any further, unlike the one in Italy. So in 1960, the descendants of Robert Ilg donated part of that land of the park to the Leaning Tower YMCA. They turned over the tower to the Niles YMCA, with the condition that the YMCA would spend a minimum of $500 annually to upkeep the tower and the surrounding area well into the future. However, this amount quickly proved to be inadequate for the aging tower. In 1995, the village of Niles worked with Pisa, Italy, their now sister city, to create a $1.2 million renovation project, which was actually completed in 1997. Today, the tower sits in front of the Leaning Tower YMCA, next to a Target and near a Costco. See the link below for directions on how to get there. It seems like a really odd place for the location of this until you actually know the history of why it's there. When the wife and I actually took the time to go visit this place, they hadn't really filled the pools yet for the season. But it does look like a really nice place to, ha to relax and maybe even have lunch. And it's kind of an interesting place and it makes it a little more interesting if you actually know the history behind it. And here's a quick summary of what you might want to know before you visit the Leaning Tower of Niles. First of all, it's free. You can expect to spend anywhere between 15 and maybe 60 minutes there if you're gonna bring a lunch. It is family friendly, it is couples friendly, and it is easily singles friendly. It is RV friendly, kind of, because you could probably park an RV at the Target parking lot, but I don't know, I haven't checked that out. The oddity factor that I have is a, out of a one to 10, it's probably a four. It's not extremely odd, but it's a little weird and out of place. The detour value, which I say, you know, how much time is it worth to go off your normal route? I would say don't go more than five minutes off your normal route unless this is something very interesting to you. I hope you got something out of this. And if you did, click that like button as well as sharing it with the internet. If I missed something, let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Until next time, safe travels.